Hey guys, I think I got a really good uh, video for you guys today. Uh, really helpful, not just me and dicking around with powder and Star Wars music and, uh, you know, just BS videos. Um, this is, I, I hope this is actually going to be really useful. Um, I purchased these two items. What I'm going to talk about is this Voodoo Tactical uh, double rifle case bag. It's 42 inches and the 511 Rush 24 pack. I, I bought these um, in a search to simplify my range day gear. Um, when you buy pistols, rifles, they all come in their individual hard plastic case for the most part. That rifle didn't. It came in actually a really nice single rifle case. Um, my pistol came in, you know, the single hard case. My other, my revolver came in the single hard case. My dad shit did too. So it got to a point where we were just... You know, if you wanted to bring four guns, we had these four hard cases, and yeah, you can load them in a car, but then you take them out of the car, and to go to an indoor range, you don't have the car next to you, you know, you're, they're clunky, you know, they're clumsy, it, it just, it's a pain in the ass, man, you look like a girl with a shit ton of luggage trying to walk through an airport for a two-day trip, you know, it's, it's no good, no bueno. So, in the search to simplify things, I picked up these two bags. The first one I got was that 511 um, Rush 24 pack. Phenomenal. It was actually a Christmas gift from my girlfriend. So I've had it for about six months now. Um, and it lived up to the hype. It is a fantastic bag. I've strapped water bottles onto it. I've strapped uh, my big um, Artac 2 knife onto it. Uh, it's got a ton of compartments. You know, it's in the compartments has more dividers and pockets and zippers. And what I love about it is it really allows you to stay organized. You know what? That's where those gloves go. That's where those gloves go. This is where my armband goes. This is where the bolts, the extra bolts go. I have other stuff that normally in here, but I'm, I'm changing some stuff around. This is where my Leatherman tool goes. The knife straps onto here. The flashlight goes in here. The marker for the targets go in here. You know, um, certain stuff goes here. Certain stuff goes in here and there's extra zippers. But basically, what I got this bag for was just a pick-up-and-go bag, always stocked. So I always have my ears in there. I got a couple sets of them. I got the stapler for targets. I got targets. I got eyes. Um, whatever needs to be. Duct tapes in there. Um, extra Ziplocs for range brass. So it does a very good job. Can you, do, can you put all this stuff in a duffel bag that costs... 10 bucks or is free sometimes? Absolutely. This makes it more organized for me. And uh, it's just a cool Christmas gift. You know, it, it's just a beast of a bag. I love it. I'll have this for a very long time. And uh, when I go on long trips, like to my girlfriend's house, West Bumblefuck, PA, um, I'll pack this, man. It's great. I'll pack that. It's it's awesome. So, could you I do without? Could I do without that? Absolutely. Um, does it make things easier and better? Absolutely. Um, this voodoo tactical bag though, could I do without this? I guess so. Do I want to? No, I don't want to do without this. This is phenomenal. Um, so let's get into this a little bit. This is their 42 inch double rifle bag. All right. And I got this one, uh, for the purpose of just what I said before. I kind of went off on a tangent because I wanted to start with the 511 bag, but you have all those guns. You have all those individual clunky hard plastic cases and it makes it a pain in the ass. Well, this is my solution. This holds four firearms, two rifles, two pistols, and all the ammo you need for it. It's fantastic. Um, I'll go into the double rifle part real quick because that's easy. That's the same on a lot of rifles, okay? You got your... You know, one little corner pocket, your two straps to cinch down the rifle or hold it in place, and your other corner pocket. To give you an idea, it looks like that. Simple. I mean, nothing revolutionary here. There's good padding between the front and this. Very thick, actually. Um, it's not hard. You can bend it, but it's, it's rigid, and it's uh, thick. So I'm confident that there's padding, uh, that there's good padding for within, you know, Within reason. You can put stuff on this. Your rifle's okay when you're loading a car. It can bump into stuff. It's okay. Would I throw it off a building? Hell no. But, you know, you got, you just got to be within reason. 
The center divider is um, full length. It's pretty big. I wish it went up just a hair more because sometimes this, you know, the top of a rifle scope will pop out. So if you have two ARs, two rifles with scopes that are, you know, the whole AR is fairly tall and you need a, you know, whatever. Basically, you just have to worry a little bit if the two scopes bump together. You can either um, angle the way the rifles are put in there or you can wrap one in a towel, whatever. It's not a big deal. That's the only thing you got to work out a little bit for. Again, excellent padding, nice and thick, uh, fairly rigid. And then here as well, this goes around the entire bag, almost like a seal. And this is also very well padded. So it's a very nice case. It's padded very well. I have confidence that it's going to keep my rifles protected um, for most against most things. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go into what makes this one more special, better than some of the other double rifle bags that I've seen out there. All right. And the magic really happens up here in the front. Now, if you guys give me one second, let's see if I could put this so you're not shaking. So you're not shaking bacon. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Sorry. All right, let's try that. Let's give that a shot. Let's get this out of the way a little bit. Okay. So, basically, what we got here in this bag, in this pouch, and in this far pouch over here, identical. Um... This top opens up to the inside, so it flips open like that. The other one flips open the opposite way. Um, but this is where this is where the magic happens, honestly, because besides just the two rifles, this one is for pistol. Okay, so back in here, can you see that? You got this pouch, opens up. I slide my uh, Springfield XD right in there. Then I put nine millimeter ammo right in here. You can actually fit a lot in. So my fist is like this. Goes right in, just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so good amount of storage. Um, I can easily fit 150, 200 rounds of nine mil in there. On top here, which is nicely padded and waffled, opens up like this, like I said, and you got your um, 15 round AR-15 mag pouches. That is a Smith and Wesson 1522 mag. All fits the same. It's great. All right, in here, this middle one, the top layer, if you can see this, this is all pistol mag pouches, okay? Well, yeah, you can see that. So there's eight of them. So that's great. Two pistols, you can four mags each, and then underneath here, this is where I put all my AR and rifle ammo. So once again, it's, uh, you, know, you can fit my whole fist like this in it. Um, I could generally fit about a, easily, uh, I can fit 200 rounds of 223 ammo in there and then another 200 rounds of 22 ammo in there, uh, fairly easily. And then on this side, same exact thing as here. My actual AR-15 mags are in there and, um, this is where I put, you know, my other pistol, my revolver or whatever. So that's quite honestly what makes this great because I have the 511 packed all the time. And then this, I just got to load whatever guns I want to bring, whether it's my AR, my 22 AR, um, a shotgun, whatever. Just throw them in here. You throw the big ammo in there. Like I said, it's it's got plenty of room. You have this other... You know, there's AR mags in there. Pad it. Pistol in there. So it's great. I love this thing. Really makes it a lot less clunky. And these open halfway down there. So, really makes it a lot less clunky uh, to go to the range. I throw everything in there. Generally, the loadout now is I put my AR right here, put the 1522 right in there, and then XD. Revolver, whatever way you want to do it. Um, it is a little bit of a tight fit for a revolver. I'm not going to lie because the cylinder. But it works. Um, ammo, ammo, ammo. Pistol mags. It, it, it's awesome. Um, the other thing that makes this just absolutely phenomenal for me. Or for anybody in New Jersey. If anybody's in New Jersey watching this. Pay attention. 
this is a beautiful thing. If you want to be within the law. Some people don't care, and rightfully so, because the laws are ridiculous in this kindergarten state. However, if you looked at if you paid attention to the zippers, they are all lockable. Voodoo sends us these zippers. They come with the bag. Let me get this to close, and I'll show you. So here are the zippers. They lock like that. You throw one of these dinky ass little locks right on that, and now you're good. You're locked up. In New Jersey, you gotta lock up your firearms. It's they gotta be in the trunk, away or locked. Or the law, the rule is up for interpretation. And if the cop wants to be a dick for whatever reason why he's checking you, he can probably screw you or give you at least a very hard time if they're not locked. So whatever it is, I love the fact that they give you these little dinky ass locks. Because if, for whatever reason, you don't have the keys on you, which they give you plenty of, there's tons of keys in here. I got them on my keychain, I got them in a bag, whatever. If, for whatever reason, you don't have the keys on you, you can just rip the locks off. You can easily break them. I guarantee you, if I wanted to, I could rip one of these locks right out of its thing. So, that's fantastic to me. It's a lock just to accommodate the law. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Voodoo Tactical, for thinking of that and for throwing that on there. Fantastic. Every one of these compartments is lockable. Uh, you got four guns. Lock, you know, lock three compartments because one is a double rifle compartment. And then you're on your way. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so anyway, that's probably all the useful information I have, but I love it. I got them in, I think, OD Green, Coyote Tan, something like that. Desert Sand, I don't know. But... I'd stay away from black uh, if I can, just because on, on the range day, if there's no cover, black gets hot as hell. That heats up. Uh, these colors definitely stay a little cooler. Um, any gun I get from now on, it's not going to be black. You know, the, the 1522, it was either black or is this like crazy camo pink, purple, or orange. So uh, black will be okay with that. But uh, anyway. Guys, I strongly recommend it. The 511 Rush 24 cost, I think, 124 bucks is what my girlfriend paid for it. Maybe 100 but I think 124 off Amazon. And this Voodoo TAC bag, double rifle, 42-inch. And let me just tell you, this not, it's not the regular version. It is the enhanced version, okay? The regular version has Molly attachments all the way through here and um, has just bags that attach on there. These are sewed in very well, and these have a lockable, lockable zippers, and they have these double compartments. So, much better, big difference. I would definitely get the enhanced bag. I think I got this for ninety nine dollars. Quite honestly, a hundred bucks. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, to my door, hundred dollars. Fantastic. If I had to give up one and keep the other, I'd give up the five eleven. Keep the Voodoo Tack bag. Just because there's not many other things that can do what that um, Voodoo Enhanced tack bag can do. Really makes my life easier. Um, a duffel bag can do the job of that, especially if it's just the range. I'm not talking about, you know, three-day hikes, bug out, wh whatever. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about just going to the range. Um, a duffel bag can work. But, man, that thing is cool. Man, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. So, you can easily say you can grab both of these things for 250 bucks. Um, you can decide if that's worth it or not. Uh, in my opinion, it absolutely is, especially since I didn't pay for one of them. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope this video was informational, informative, and helpful. So that, and that was my ideology about why I picked these up and why these are good for me and my system. Um, you know, that's kind of the whole purpose of this channel, um, or my new purpose, I guess, since I, uh, um, did that new mission statement a little bit ago. Uh, but I hope, you know, so my theories behind it and then the review of the bag really helps. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope to have more reviews like this coming. Uh, I plan to, I should say. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.